Right now, this Orange Park man speaking to us from his hospital bed where he's being treated for serious injuries from a hit and run. Next thing I know, I'm sitting on the sidewalk with the EMTs. His bicycle mangled after he says a driver hit him outside this local store and kept going. Mike McCardle was just transferred out of the trauma unit at Orange Park Medical Center and is speaking with us tonight in hopes someone watching the news may know who crashed into him. The hit and run was Monday night near the Walmart on Blanding Boulevard. Channel 4 Scott Johnson spoke with McCardle and his sister. He's joining us live. Scott. Mary, what he was saying is he was riding his bike when the car hit him. His head cracked the windshield and his skull. And what he's telling me is the driver sped off a woman and actually ran over his leg as she got out of there. Mike McCardle is in the hospital now, thankful to be alive after a driver hit him in front of the Orange Park Walmart and apparently just kept driving. This is a picture of the bicycle he was on. Tell me what happened. I don't really remember a whole lot. <laughs> I was coming down the sidewalk on uh, off of Blanding and I got to the crosswalk at uh, Walmart and the only thing I remember doing is looking at the crosswalk sign and then checking the street lights and they were all red and I went through it. Then the next thing I know, I'm sitting on the sidewalk with EMTs and uh, I'm bleeding out the side of my face and my bike's mangled and they said I just got hit by a car. I spoke with McCardle by phone. He's in the hospital, just transferred out of the trauma unit. He tells me he has a fractured skull and it was bleeding from the brain. It's pretty incredible. I mean, I wouldn't have thought I'd be walking already or anything like that. Um, and it's pretty amazing. You know, I didn't really break anything. I mean, I do have fractures in my skull, but I mean, I guess that's what happens when you use your head to go through a windshield. McCardle's sister says she was ready to take her children trick or treating when she got the call that her brother was hit at this intersection. About a minute before I was taking my kids out trick or treating and my grandmother told me that um, my brother was in an uh, accident where he was hit by a car and his bicycle. Deanna is hoping investigators can find the driver, particularly after a conversation she said she had in the hospital. From what I heard from the nurses at the hospital and the trauma center, this is happening all the time, and it's something that needs to stop. So all they know the family at this point, female driver, dark colored hatchback, and a damaged windshield most likely. If you know anything that could help, you can call investigators at the Clay County Sheriff's Office. We're live tonight. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.